And now for the EFDD group, Mr. Farage. Thank you. Four years ago, I stood here and said that bombing Libya would be a huge mistake. Uh, but of course, the UK Parliament and this Parliament were desperate. There was a clamour uh, to go to war. And so now we have a failed state of Libya, uh, which is now a conduit being used for criminal trafficking gangs trying to bring people to Europe. We are guilty for this crisis. We are directly guilty for the drownings that are going on. And we are hypocrites in this place when we talk about poverty in Africa, when we pursue a common agricultural policy that puts barriers up to them selling us their agricultural produce, where we have a fisheries policy that rapes and pillages their seas and has caused environmental destruction. And we just assuage our consciences by giving away a bit of foreign aid. I am not blind to the human suffering that we've caused in many of these countries. I would call on this Parliament, this Commission, to end the barriers to trade, to stop the fisheries policy, to ask the United Nations to get involved and to try and help. But the real question we face is what are we to do? Are we to go down the Australian system in dealing with this crisis? And indeed, the Australian Premier, Tony Abbott, has offered us his advice and help. Australia faced this. And Australia not only have stopped the boats from coming, they've stopped people from drowning. But no, we're not interested in what the Australians have done. We have decided that we can deal with this on our own. So we've decided that people can come and that people won't be sent back. Now I suspect that it's a shock, it will be a hell of a shock, uh, to many European citizens, including the British, to understand that we've already agreed a common European asylum system. And what today is about, and today's resolution, is the direct implementation of it. The problem, ladies and gentlemen, is this. The definitions for who qualifies for asylum are so wide, they include not just people coming from war, not just people coming from failed states. Mr Juncker this morning seemed to suggest that perhaps it would even include people who were fleeing poverty. I'm sorry, we simply can't accept countless millions. Already in countries like mine, 77% of the population say we cannot take immigration at current levels. But there is a real and genuine threat. When ISIS say they want to flood our continent with half a million Islamic extremists, they mean it. And there is nothing in this document that will stop those people from coming. Indeed, I fear we face a direct threat to our civilization if we allow large numbers of people from that war-torn region into Europe. It is ironic that nine days before a British general election, Mr Cameron and Mr Miliband are not engaged in this debate, and in fact the UK can do nothing. We are impotent. We have surrendered our ability to get involved. I promise my party will stand up to this impending disaster for all concerned. Uh, Mr. Lambert, you wanted to ask a question. The first time that we've had these kinds of exchanges, I'd just like to remind you that many terrorist attacks that your United Kingdom suffered from were actually acts of your nationals, not imported terrorists, but people who were homegrown. So I'm not sure that any of your answers is an answer to that issue. Thank you. I do. Yes, yeah. I do accept, Mr. Lambert, that our failed policy of state-sponsored multiculturalism has led to a fifth column inside many of our countries. However, the number of those is mercifully small compared to the number of Islamic extremists committing the most bestial acts on a daily basis right across that region. This policy has no means and no way of filtering out extremists in favour of people fleeing in genuine fear of their lives. And as such, we are making a massive mistake. Let us follow the example of Australia. Let us do everything we can to reverse the hypocrisy of groups like yours that have voted to make Africa poorer. Let us do those things. But if the message is that anybody that comes will be accepted, we are headed for disaster.